Hello YouTube fans, and it's I, your boy, the local Scottish Trekkie, coming live at you for a Star Trek Discovery official Starships review. And this evening I'm going to be doing issue 16, The Festoon, which was seen in Star Trek Discovery Season 1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the magazine. And once I get into the magazine, I'll show you the box for it as well, which here it is. Baron Grimes Festoon, or Baron Grimes, Baron, Baron Grimes Festoon. So here it is, which was seen in season one of Star Trek Discovery. And here is the ship itself. And that is a beauty of a ship. But we'll get into some... information from the magazine and before I do that just to say um hi there to my friend uh, to my to my subscribers how are you guys keeping uh, and thank you very much for taking time for coming back to your boy your local Scottish Trekkie so let's do this let's do Star Trek issue 16 the festoon and let's get into it shall we sorry about the the wee bit of incident today, I got that done at the work this morning, this afternoon. I know it's no, it, it's no, um, anybody's interest, but if you see why I've got a blue plaster, it's because I've cut my finger on my thumb. Cut it really, I cut it on in, in one in a short, a short piece of the object in my work this afternoon. Cool. So we've got the profile of the festoon and designing the ship. And then what I'll do is I'll show you how to attach it to the stand when we get into the, near the end of the starship. So there we have here, that's the festoon there. So we have the festoon specifications, so let's get into it, shall we? So it's class is a yacht, uh, or yacht. Its owner is Baron Grimm's, and it was launched in the 23rd century. So we have some interesting images of the ship here so we have the the ship there so the festoon is a lux a luxur a luxurious super yacht privately owned by the arms dealer baron grimms baron grimms was an extremely rich man making his fortune by supplying weapons from the federation klingon war uh, of 2256 to 2257 his vast wealth allowed him to purchase his own private space yacht, uh, named the Festoon. Uh, Festoon being a garland hanging between two points, Grimm's daughter, Stella, who was married to Harcourt Fenton Mudd. Uh, when Mudd abandoned Stella, Grimm's issued a reward for his capture. Uh, alerted to Mud's presence, Grimes and his daughter travelled aboard the Festoon to rendezvous with the USS to Discovery. The USS to Discovery to collect Mud. And then we have some profile of the ship. So we have the. Uh, I think that yeah, that's the upper. That's the upper of the ship. That one there is the front of the ship. That was the side, and that's the that's the back of the ship. So that's the festoon. So we have design in the festoons, the, the, the festoon, or the festoon. I wonder if this is. No, I thought it was a John E's, but it's not. It's designed by Ryan Denning. Ryan Denning. So, oh. So the Festoon, Eves is one of the most usual ships. So it is one of Johnny's, but it was designed by Ryan Dy uh, It was fought off, probably. I wonder if it was fought off by John Eves. And then it was designed by Ryan Denon. So anyway, sorry about that. Um, maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments down below. Eves is one of the most unusual ships we've ever seen in Star Trek. 
It's one of the very few civil, civilian ships that has appeared in the series and the only one owned by an obscene wealthy man. It was designed by Ryan Denon, a veteran of Star Trek Online who has been Star Trek Discovery since the beginning. In the second season, he has been in the principal ship designer, but during the first season, most of his effort was devoted by designing interiors. So the popular, the bridge of the USS Shinzo and the USS Discovery. So we have some interesting work here by Ryan Denon. So you have the festoon, and then you have the all images of how the ship and the images he fought off. So Denon started to design process by sketching some very loose shapes. He never showed these to anyone else. They were just a way of him finding a direction he liked. And then we have some more work that Ryan Denon done for the festoon. Some really, really good images here, by the way. That's a really good one. That one there as well. Some really good imagery we worked there from Ryan. Which was very different to what we normally see in Star Trek. Grimms was described to me as a Trump-like character. Uh, he continues, they wanted his ship to be over the top and gaudy and just silly. Uh, Devrell gave Denon, uh, Denon a series of images Im images of spaceships that were used that, that were based on the ocean going liners to use as an inspiration. He also looked at reference images um, of of complementary vessels. I looked at modern day cruise ships and yachts too. And then we have what the festin became. They are really really good images. That is really, really good images. Look at that. And that one up there as well. That's a really good one. Hard one. Thumbs up to the man. Like, some really good designs. I can never draw that kind of thing. <laughs> and I am good at drawing Star Trek ships, but nothing like that. That's just... But, of course, that will probably be used by a computer, probably, and then printed. Or probably freehand. Uh, at the next stage, Denon made a basic 3D model to, that combined elements of from two of his interior initial designs, famous acro, acrobatic flyer. And then the art department also worked up several possible trick crests for the Grimes family, which Denon was given an inspiration. So we see an, uh, a crest for the, uh, for the family down here. So coming in issue 17 we've got the the USS Teplamaha the Teplamaha a stunning model of the Eagle Moss of the Eagle class starship vessel that was amongst the ships that uh, fought in the Battle of the Binary Stars. Um, I'm still awaiting but I've got confirmation uh, that the the worker bee will be in with my issue 17 so hopefully I get the two of them at the same time so I should get the worker bee and uh, issue 17 at the same time but I am looking forward to getting the Star Trek Discovery shuttle that is one thing I'm looking forward to getting as well so there is the magazine boys and girls so there's the festoon putting up uh, and then Star Trek Discovery Let's get into the starship itself, shall we? That's what we're here for. So, here it is. So here is the Festoon. Really, really good start looking starship. So, I don't know, but I've got a funny feeling that could possibly be the deflector underneath there. And then we've got like a to me, what looks like a golden, like, uh, could possibly be like a a bear or a lion at the top up here. If it will zoom in. Yeah, 
Come on, Zoom. Camera doesn't want to pick it up today. But it picks up the ship. So that could possibly be a bear or a lion or a something, maybe like something like a light, an animal, something like that. I'd like to see what you guys think down below. So we've got the the front of the uh, the, the vessels buzzards down here, and then we've got in here we've got it says the festoon in here. Yeah, there we go. Picks it up. So we've got the festoon, uh, the festoon. And then at the back of the ship, you've got the, like, what these could possibly be, be cargo bays or something, or cargo hatches. And then you've got the impulse, in, they've got the, uh, the back of the impulse here. And then possibly that could possibly be, like, a part of the design of the ship. But it's a really, really good st standard of its ship. It's really, really cool. It looks really, really nice. And then you get the stand for the ship. So mine's uh, this is uh, uh, in my last review. These are getting really on my nerves now. I had to fix the. I had to fix this because apparently it was a way and an angle way up here, up here. So I had to fix it and reattach it. So you've got Baron Grimes Festoon. And then you've got zero one zero one three seven A dash A. And then to mount the ship to uh, mount the ship to its stand, what you do is you just want to put it into here. Like so. And that's it on its stand. So that's the festoon. Baron Grimes Festoon and that's my review of the Starship ladies and gentlemen boys and girls my YouTube friends of I'd like to see what you guys think in the comments down below and if you've liked what I've done tonight please show the thumbs and uh, the likes and if you want to see some more for myself it's been really warm again today in Edinburgh even though we had rain this morning, so apologies about the heat uh, and me touch getting rid of the sweat from my head. I know that everybody doesn't like to see that, but I'm really, really sorry. Um, if you'd like to see some more from myself, please hit the notification bell at the top and you'll see some more videos from your boy, the local Scottish Tricky. And yeah, um, that's my review on the USS Festin. Uh, Baron Grimes uh, from Star Trek Discovery and I will see you which will probably be I still want to get the the Enterprises the Enterprise E Diamond Select ships in as well so I'll probably do that at the weekend I'll probably get one or two of them on because I've still got the, I've got the freedom to do I've got the remastered one and then the first issue and then the battle damage one uh, so I'll probably get them in during the week over the weekend and I will bring the videos up to you guys. So I am your local boy, local Scottish Trekkie, and I will give you the live long and prosper. And I will see you guys in that video for the Diamond Select uh, Enterprise Ease. Uh, hopefully Saturday and Sunday, going into Monday, and I will see you guys then. And thank you very much for taking time for watching this, uh, the Festin review. And I will see you guys in that next video. And bye for now.